jina anaitwa Fatma Juma. Manesa Fatma Juma. This is my grandchild. He was born with heart problem. He had a hole in his heart. Do you remember the prayer of this child? How many of you remember it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We were residing at Mwana Nyamala, then we moved to Tabata. When we moved to Tabata, we met the uh, co-tenant who worships in Christ's mandate. Her name is Mama Happy or Mama Tina. There's a day he looked, she, she looked at this child and she came to me and told me. What problem does he, does he have, have because he had retarded growth? So I narrated to her the problem that this child is suffering from that she had that he had a hole in his heart since he was born. That woman came to me and asked me, do you have faith? I said, yes, I have faith. And she told me, we have Jesus' servant. And she asked, can you take your child there? And I said, yes. I came to Christ's money to meet Jesus' servant. He counseled me and he also saw my grandchild. He prayed for my grandchild and prophesied wow. that he will be healed. I went home and I was instructed to use the salt and oil of total deliverance to bath the child and also make, make him lick it. We took the child to the hospital and they said that the hole is still there. I didn't give up. I came back to Christ's mother to meet Jesus' servant. And I told him of the report. The third time I returned, I registered my grandchild in the sick prayer line. Just someone carried my grandchild and said, From today, this child, I changed his name to Emmanuel. Just someone prophesied and said that from today this child is healed. We returned home and they gave us a day to go to Muimbili Hospital. Whenever we'd go there, they would give us a date. We'd only use the oil to take Mafuta na chumvi. The oil and the salt. The oil and the salt. The oil and the salt. You can't believe. I don't know what has been telling us. Whenever we want to give you medication, we forget. We have never given you medication even once. On the 16th of August, we took him to the hospital again. When he got to the hospital, all the doctors were surprised and they said this child. Be calm, be calm, be calm. Be calm, be calm. Be calm. Be calm. The doctors called each other and said, what have you given to this child? Hey! Hey! They said, how comes, how comes you don't see the hole anymore? What have you given to the child? Where have you taken the child? They said the, the child is growing well. He's healthy. Hold on. Sumiri. Now, they've they looked for the hole in the heart. There is no longer hole. Is that what you are telling us? Does there is no more hole in his heart? There is no wow. more hole in his heart. I prophesy to you. You will look for that. 
problem, you will not find it again. You will look for that sickness, you will not find it again. You will look for that challenge, you will not find it again. How many ten days? He is standing for me. How many ten days? Only God can do this. Are you hearing me? This is called a critical issue. And only God can do this. I want to start on this testimony. On the same anointing that did it for her. Any difficult situation you are in now. Tatizo lolote sugu na ulipitia sasa. Any critical issue. Swala lolote zito. It may be health. Ineza kwa ni afya. It may be economical issue. Ineza kwa jambo la kiuchumi. It may be career issue. Ineza kwa jambo la kitaaluma. I profess. Nina tabiri. Receive your solution. Receive your solution. Receive your solution. I want you to learn a lesson from this woman. Have your seats. Have your seats. Have your seats. Have your seats. Before they came, they were not Christians. What she said, I believed. Are you hearing me? Even after the first prayer, she checked. She said, I still saw it. She had faith. She said she came back. I prayed. She came back for the third time. And I registered for healing session. Right? In other words, she didn't give up for the first time. All you need to do is to know the God that you serve. Are you hearing me? She came again. Why did she come again? Because she knows her healing, the grandchild healing is here. Are you hearing me? Then, Sasa. As if that wasn't enough. She got the oil. And the juve. Now they also gave her a lot of medication according to her. But after I changed the son's name. And declared through the chapter of that name. Ah, that the child is healed. She said, according to her testimony, that any time, every time they forget to give the child the medicine. But they didn't forget to give the child the salt and the oil. That means the God that I serve was with them, was guiding them. Salt and the oil. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You are my friend. The day you came, you were more small. Today you are a big man. Today you are a big man. Fine boy. Mm -hmm. Handsome boy. <laughs> Clap up for Jesus. Yes, my coffee. How many ten day? How many ten day? Somebody pick here, yes, my coffee. Clap your hands for Jesus. Somebody.
somebody told her about this place. Mtu alimwambia kuhusu hii sehemu. She said her neighbor. Alisema jirani yake. Today through that neighbor. Leo kupitia huyo jirani. Look at how God is taking glory. Angalia jinsi Mungu anapopata utukufu. How many are you telling about what God is doing here? Unawaambia wangapi kuhusu kile Mungu anafanya hapa? This kind of miracle you don't get it anywhere. Aina huwa muujiza upate kokote pale. New heart. Moyo mpya. Hole in the heart means there was a hole there, there was a place where there is no flesh. Tundu kwenye moyo inamaanisha kulikuwa kuna sehemu ambayo kulikuwa hakuna nyama. Do you see this hand? Unaona huo mkono? It means there was a hole in part of the heart. Inamaanisha kulikuwa kuna tundu sehemu ya moja ya moyo. God created new flesh. Na Mungu akaumba nyama upya. Any area that you need creative miracle. Eneo lolote ambalo unahitaji muujiza wa uumbaji. I release creative miracle. Ninaachilia muujiza muumbaji juu yako. Yeah man, mimi nina ushauri mmoja. I have an advice. Msikate tamaa mkija hapa. Don't give up when you come here. Hata mtumishi akikwambia nenda nenda urudi tena usikate tamaa Even when Jesus seven tells you to go and you come back to come back again yoyote, mwenye matatizo yoyote anyone who has any kind of usikate problem usikate tamaa mje hapa kuna Mungu wa ukweli Don't give up there is a true god in this place Kuna Mungu wa ukweli There is a true god Wow Wow Are you blessed Umebarikiwa Tell your neighbor don't give up. Mambe jirani yako usikate tamaa. No matter how many times you have come. Haijalishi umekuja mara ngapi. God will answer. Mungu atajibu. When the time is right. Mungu atakapokuwa sahihi. Clap hands for Jesus. Pigie Yesu makofi. Hapa kuna doctor wa bure. There is a free doctor in this place. And I to a Yesu Christo. His name is Jesus Christ. And I to a Yesu I'm happy. I'm very happy. Wow. Man of God, I have nothing to give you. God is the one who showed me, who brought me here and he told me that he's a free doctor. Because we were told to give an operation, to book an operation for the child, we had no money. But there is God in this place. There is a free doctor without giving anything. Don't be afraid, just come. I am advising you. Anyone who has any kind of problem, just come. Man of God doesn't need anything. The first time I was told that the man of God sees you freely, I was very surprised. Clap your hands for Jesus. Now, how much did I charge you that there was the for you to pay for him to be operated? Sasa ni kiasi gani ambacho umetaka kulipa ili yeye afanye operation? Mara mwisho waliniambia nilipe milioni 8. The last time they told me to pay 8 million. Milioni 8 ndio mtoto afanye operation. 8 million for the child to undergo an operation. Lakini uwezi kuamini tulirudi nyumbani wakawa natupiga hatare kumbe Mungu wa hapa alikuwa ananiita anambia mtoto hata But you can't believe we went back at home and they kept on postponing the operation not knowing it was God who was working in that way. Did you pay anything here? Umelipia chochote hapa umelipa? Sijalipia chochote zaidi. I haven't paid for anything. Except only for the offering, we call it as an offering for the spiritual material. Big yes, my God. For Jesus. Utukufu kwaye su. All the glory to Jesus. Wow. Wow. And some people are lying out for you to see the man of God. You pay this. Na watu wengi ni wanaongopia watu kwenye kambo kimona mtu misha mungu atakuwa ulipe hela ulipe hela. You don't pay for anything. And it's not even a must for you to get the spiritual materials. The first time I had no money. But I only gave a small offering and the child got the altar to deliverance and salt. Clap up for Jesus. Your testimony and healing is permanent. Christ Mandate TV, transforming lives, nations, and the world.